Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. If you don't know me yet, my name is Tiffany and I upload a new homemaking video every Sunday. Today is Sunday and I am feeling the Sunday vibes. I've had a lazy Sunday morning. It's been really great. And I have a list piling up in my head that I wanna get out on paper of all kinds of homemaking things that I want to do today. I wanna to put a pattern together. I need to go and get some cards for some events that um, loved ones have coming up in their lives. I want to do some tidying up and just some other homemaking things. We'll see where the day takes us. This will probably be part vlog and part voiceover. I'm not sure how much of either it's going to be. So it's kind of an experiment. We'll see how it goes. And if you do like this channel, go ahead and subscribe. I know a lot of people who watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you do like them, subscribe so you can follow along when I post my homemaking videos. So let's spend Sunday together, friends. This should be a little bit of fun. I've never, I don't do videos like this very often, but I thought it would be a good day to try it. To get myself started on the right foot, I just made a list of all the things I wanted to accomplish and the things I needed to pick up when I was out running errands. Then I got my hair dried and I put it in some rollers just because I felt like it. And then I did a little bit of makeup. Not too much, but I do use a primer every time I put makeup on. And then I used a little bit of a concealer to brighten up my dark eyes and then I used a tinted moisturizer just to even out my skin tone just a little bit. I always apply makeup with my hands as much as possible just because I had a tutorial with a makeup artist one time and she said because my skin is dry it's a good idea to heat everything up with my hands before I apply it to my face so that's why I never use makeup sponges and I think it saves me a ton of money too honestly. I'm just finishing up my makeup routine. I just did some eyeshadow, a little bit of brows, mascara, typical stuff. I decided to leave my rollers in for a little while just because the longer I leave them in, the better my hair turns out. So I thought I'd take advantage of the extra time that I had before I had to be anywhere. Once I was all ready, I went ahead and started to kind of tidy up my house. I just wanted to feel really good going into Monday. So I got the dishes loaded in the dishwasher and I cleaned up a few random things that were kind of making a mess around the kitchen. Also, I've said this a thousand times, but I do like to get my coffee ready to go the night before just to make my mornings a little bit smoother as well. I love the feeling I have when I finally wipe down this peninsula. It's like the last thing I always do when I clean my kitchen and it feels so good. Once the kitchen was done, I went ahead and folded some laundry and got that all put away so that the dryer was empty and if I needed to do laundry throughout the week, it was free and ready to use. And 
And the last little bit of work I did was tidying up the living room. Felt a lot better when I just kind of put things in order just a little bit. I'm just gonna do a quick check-in. I went ahead and got myself put together. So I did my hair and my makeup, finished getting ready. I did clean the kitchen. I got the trash taken out. I do have to take the uh, trash barrel to the curb tonight uh, also. I put away my laundry. And I have my errands to run and this pattern to put together and I wanna work out. And I'm hoping to have all of these chores done by two um, so that I can just kind of hang out for the rest of the day. But I think now I'm gonna put this pattern together and then I'm gonna run my errands. I have actually already gotten started because I started this morning before I decided to film today. It was very spontaneous. But I have the back already put together. And this was a free pattern, not free, really. I mean, I support um, Charm Patterns by Gertie on Patreon, so I always get these fun little patterns every month. This is the one that I'm gonna make. I'm gonna make the one that she's wearing with the little puff sleeves. Um, this one, right here. I'm gonna make this top, um, and I'm gonna make a little skirt to go with it. I have some fun pink, vintage-y plaid fabric to try, so. Anyway, if you wanna support that Patreon, it's a great resource for sewing tutorials and patterns. And if you wanna start home sewing, she's, they're just great people to follow. They have great information. But it's kind of fun to put together these patterns because they go together a little bit like a puzzle. Like I have these different pieces and there are little things that you match up. It's kind of a pleasant activity, if you will. pieces taped together from the pieces that I'm going to need. So I'm going to take these down to my office and then keep working through my to-do list. All right, y'all. I'm doing really great with my list here. I have to run to two stores and then I'm hoping to get a workout in and then I will be done with my list for today and I can do whatever I want. <laughs> I'm gonna run in and grab my fabric and hopefully be off to the Dollar Tree. I had to stay super focused when I ran in here because if I let myself get distracted from the one thing that I needed to pick up, I would be in there looking for way too long and then I would spend a ton of money I didn't need to spend. I also really hit the jackpot here at the Dollar Tree with all of these cards. They had a great selection. I got all these cards. I got almost all the cards on my list, but they didn't have Father's Day cards out yet. So I'm just gonna have to wait to get that. But that's not for a while, so I'm not too worried. Um, but they had all of these cards. I got 10 cards. I spent $10. And if I had gone somewhere else, like Walmart or um, Target, this would have cost me like somewhere between 30 and like 30 and $40. So, and they had some really cute ones too. Like this one, I love this. I think that's so cute for a graduation. And they had a whole bunch of other ones too, so. I also picked up my white fabric and it was on sale, so that's awesome. Really happy about that. So I am going to do my workout. I am going to go on my little three mile loop. I run as much of it as I can. I'm up to running about two and a half miles and then I walk the last half mile, but today I might make it all three miles. We will see how I feel. But that is my goal is to run three miles, two to three times a week through the whole summer and see how I feel. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. Thank you so much for joining me on this fun little day of homemaking. I hope you liked it. Uh, give it a like if you did. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see any more of my homemaking videos. And I'll see you next Sunday, friends. Bye for now. Happy Mother's Day.